Oh, John, I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> we can do it, honey. I don't know if I can. Oh, man, this plane looks so small. Let's do this. We can do it. I don't know if I can do it. C.S. Lewis said, you're never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream. We're John and Bev, and after a lifetime of hard work, our retirement goal is to travel the world and finish our lives with many memories we've made along the way. We are the Retirement Travelers. Come along as we travel the world on this crazy retirement adventure. If you've been following along with us, you know that we're finishing up a journey across the U.S. to see all the national parks in the lower 48. We've had quite an adventure and loved every minute of it. This week, we're heading to the very remote Isle Royale National Park. And from Houghton, Michigan, there's two ways to get there, a six hour boat ride, or a 40 minute seaplane. <laughs> Which I did not want to take. I have been trying to figure out how we can see the world and never get on a small plane. But here we are in Houghton, Michigan, and I have to get on a seaplane. It, it is the fastest way there. <laughs> I know, I just hate to fly, and the idea of getting on a one engine plane and taking off on water and then landing on water it was kind of scary to me. Yes, and, and Bev has a very big fear of flying. I do. I even get scared to get on a big jet. I mean, I, I've I, this probably started when I was 20 years old or so, and for the last 20 years, I have worked really hard to overcome this fear. I've tried to educate myself on how planes fly and turbulence, and I even went to therapy to try to learn techniques for relaxation. So. You know, the idea of getting on a seaplane, it was a lot, but the motivation for me is to go see the world, and that's really helped me to stay focused. Well, I am really proud of you for getting on that plane. Are you nervous? Oh, oh I am. I'm, I'm scared. Have you ridden in small planes before? When I was a child. Is that what you're nervous about? Well, or just the landing I just hate water? flying. Oh, and okay. I'm kind of nervous about landing on the water. It's uh, Most people say it's smoother than um, a take -off? landing on a runway. Okay. So, well, that's good to know. And today it's nice and calm. Uh, there's much head on the thing. There's not a lot of turbulence, especially once we get out over Lake Superior, it's gonna be nice and smooth. Okay. So step right on up here. I'm gonna talk about these life jackets for a minute. Um, okay, I don't know if I can do it. You can do it. I can? Yeah, you can. Oh, hundreds of foot before you have done it. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> if you can get in next, you're gonna have that center seat. I'll get you. And then you're gonna have this left hand seat. Okay. All right, guys, a few words of safety before we go. The plane has four emergency exits. There's two doors on either side. Uh, to open the door, just twist this knob and push out on the door. Pretty simple. We've got a fire extinguisher located below the pilot seat up there. And uh, I think I told you it's going to be a nice smooth ride, but if anybody needs six sacks, there should be plenty of them in those seat back pockets in front of you. Good luck. <laughs> Did he close that well? Oh. So I have a question. Up here. Yeah, go ahead. Does the co-pilot have any have any experience? Uh, I don't know. Do you? <laughs> well, the guy behind you does. Oh. Uh, oh well, you need to be I can't in the controls oh. from here, though. <laughs> yeah. Push off. I can um, I can actually dock and you can climb over me. Sounds good. Okay. I can duck and cover. I'll get up here. We carried okay. here for a set. Just brought back some afternoon. Oh. oh my God. Awesome. Afghanistan? Yes, go ahead. I picked them up from Europe, but they came from Afghanistan for sure. Oh wow. That's amazing. I fly for a charter company now. Okay. It's good to know we got another pilot.
Make my every dream come true. Oh, I can't describe it. Took my tongue and tied it. Sent my heart over the moon. It come fly away with me. Imagine all the things that we could see. Yeah, don't you know that life's a dance? Come take my hand and fly away with me. Second, I'm with you. We'll turn all the pages, check off all the places. Every day is something new. Don't that sky look blue? Yeah. You're my sunshine every morning. Light up every moment. Make my every dream come true. No, mm, oh, I can't describe it. Took my tongue and tied it. Sent my heart over the moon. It come fly away with me. Imagine all the things that we could see. Yeah, don't you know that life's a dance? Come take my hand, fly away, fly away with me. Imagine all the things that we could see. Yeah, don't you know? Okay, I thought that would be the scariest thing I've ever done. That was probably, I was probably the most scared I've been in a long time. But, turns out it was a nothing burger. The easiest flight I think I've ever had. It was so much fun, I almost cried because it just felt so good to not um, be so scared. It was incredible. So, did you feel tears of joy or, or tears of relief? <laughs> Both, but also thankfulness and gratefulness. And I was just proud that I did it. Um, it. It wasn't easy for me to get on the plane, but truly it was one of the smoothest flights I think I've ever had. And it probably helped that the weather was perfect and that there was no turbulence. Yeah, the takeoff was so gentle. I didn't even know that we had lifted off and the landing way easier than a runway landing. I tell you, it was it was really a nothing burger. Yeah, I had read reviews where people had asked if it was scary to take the seaplane and several people had said, don't skip the national park, uh, don't don't skip the seaplanes at the national park because of your fear. And it, they said it was the best part of their visit to the Isle Royale. So for those people out there who write those encouraging reviews and for people like me who are scared, I really appreciate it. And uh, people like me, we, we really appreciate the words that you leave that are encouraging. Yeah, and, and I know we're gonna wanna take small planes. I, I, I know I, we are. I see that in our future. I, I know we've talked about seeing the geoglyphs of Peru and I've always wanted to island hop in the South Pacific <laughs> and maybe even a, a plane ride across the Serengeti. Yeah, I know. And as we travel the world, I'm sure there'll be many small planes in our future. So. I, I promise I will keep giving it a try. I'm a work in progress, so you gotta hang in there with me. I will. So join us next week and we'll show you one more thing in Houghton, Michigan you won't wanna miss. And also our visit to the Apostle Islands in Wisconsin where we went sailing. Be sure to hit subscribe and come along with us.